Cano analysis and QFT. Cano analysis and QFT. QFT stands for quality function deployment. See, all of, see, mainly both the tools are helpful for product development team. We have been talking so much about DMAC. DMAC is improvement. But there is one other approach within Six Sigma, which is known as design for Six Sigma. Right? And uh, here the goal is developing a new product. Here the goal is developing a new product. If you want to develop a new product, the, the important thing is, first you must understand the customer requirement. Understand the customer requirement. Customer requirements can be of two types, needs and expectations. Needs are the spoken ones, but expectations are the unspoken ones. Unspoken. Yes or no? So customer requirement can be spoken, unspoken. And uh, certain requirements, uh, customer would not even imagined. But that you, if you bring those things uh, in your offerings, that will lead to uh, something known as customer delight. You're not a customer, has not even imagined about certain feature, but then you bring such feature in your products, in your service. Now what happens? That actually helps in delighting. So, do you just wanted to fulfill the needs of your customer? Do you also want to fulfill the expectations in addition to the needs? Or do you also want to delight your customer? Tell me all of you, what do you actually want to do with your customer right now in your business? Delight. Delight. Customer delight. Now, delight. now people are talking about delight. delight, isn't it? Quality means customer delight. But then, if I delight my customer, without you know other and and uh, leaving some problems with respect to his spoken requirement is it the right approach no definitely no, no. so your focus on, on delight is permitted only if you have attended to all the spoken requirement similarly your focus on spoken requirement is permitted only if you have attended to all the unspoken requirement because unspoken requirement or your responsibility, not customer's responsibility, right? Because that has been learned already over you know, the past years of experience. Can you imagine an apartment without, uh, what do you call, a kitchen, kitchen room in it? Is it possible? You don't have to ask for a kitchen. Apartment, living apartment means it has to come with the kitchen unit. Yes or no? Kitchen unit. Yes, sir. Whether you want it bigger or smaller, that you that customer can ask. But uh, living apartment, if somebody is selling an apartment, then definitely it should have a kitchen area. What are the other areas should compulsorily present, which the, what to say, the builder himself should provide? He has to provide bathrooms. Hall he has to room. provide some kind of uh, uh, a hall or a living uh, room, isn't it? Some okay. basic features you don't have to know, you don't have to wait for your customer to ask, which you can set it right yourself. These are known as must be requirements. These are also known as unspoken requirements. Is it clear to all of you? Why, why, why I say it is your, your responsibility? Because you, you can't expect every customer to be intelligent enough to speak about everything. Right now, what to expect from a black belt program? How many of you have the complete awareness? Possible. Yes or no? So, as a manufacturer, as a service provider, we do have a responsibility. Right? Some basic requirements we need to understand ourselves and then fulfill. For example, the legal complaints, customer will never uh, convey about the legal complaints and other things. It is your responsibility. Can you run a business without paying tax? Can you run a business without uh, complying to certain rules and regulations of the government? No, it is not possible. All of these things are must be requirements. Can you compromise on the safety? This is a must be requirement. Your product may be, you know, you are selling at a, at a price of less than 100 rupees, but still safety cannot be compromised, which is definitely not good in the long run, right? So the safety uh, compliance, legal compliance, 
and the bare minimum uh, requirements. And uh, similarly, uh, any product you sell, all the components used must be brand new. Yes or no? If you, how many of you will buy a laptop? If I sell a laptop with all the parts, internal parts, no, the uh, the second hand parts. This is this, this is not allowed, isn't it? These are all unspoken requirement. Customer expect everything to be fresh. These are all unspoken. Once you fulfill all of this, yes, you stand a good chance to to you know uh, penetrate into a particular market segment. And now comes the second stage. Once you are good with all the must be, you can now proceed and compare your level with respect to other players in the same segment. Yes or no? Take any product. Mm -hmm. You want to run a restaurant or you want to sell computer or you want to conduct a training program like this or you want to, uh, you know, let's say you make and sell some kitchen appliances, whatever. Let's say you want to you want to make and sell a cooker, and uh, you want to uh, uh, sell it with a customer segment, a specific segment of people who could afford buying a cooker in less than eight hundred rupees. Possible, first of all, to make a cooker less than eight hundred rupees. Tell me, possible or not? Might be. Possible. Possible. Yes, possible. Okay. So once the possibility is understood, now can I compromise on the safety saying that this is only 800 rupees I'm going to sell, so it will not be safe to use. How many of you like my idea now? No. Not at all. Not at all. And no, all the legal complaints and everything, you know, the moment I understand my customer segment and my product, and it is my responsibility to fulfill all the must-be requirements. I should have the legal complaints, complaints with respect to the safety, use of the product. At the same time, you know, there are certain bare minimum expectations from a cooker. Okay. Right? What what can you expect from a mobile phone uh, which is priced at, uh, let's say, 3,000 rupees? There are some bare minimum requirements. Yes or no? Yes. All mobile phones will certainly have these features. Even if you buy a mobile phone for 3 lakhs, that should also have the same features as that of the mobile phone purchase for 3,000 rupees. Yeah. Yes or no? The common thing across all variants of mobile, whether you go for a 3 lakh mobile, 3,000 mobile or 3 crore, crore mobile, there will be certain things common across all of them. Can you notice? Yeah, yes. Can you tell one out of it? Provision for oh, inserting SIM card. Yes. Provision calling for? Feature. Setting SIM card. Ah, provision for inserting a SIM card, calling feature. I uh, want to use picture, WhatsApp. Texting. I want it's my screen to be touch screen. Yeah. Basic things. You don't expect your customer to come forward and give a detailed uh, requirement list. Not required. If you have such tendency, if you behave in that manner, I don't know, you may be kicked out of the entire market. This did happen to many, many uh, big brands. Yes or no? So, Cano analysis is a tool which will help you to think very systematically to understand your customer requirement and group them in the order of prioritization perceived by the customer, right? According to the customer, whether this particular requirement is an essential one, is the most important one or a least important one. If it is a least important one, yes, I can keep it for you know, the uh, future. Maybe slowly I will build my product. But if it is a primary requirement, yeah, yes, even right at the time of launching my product, I need to fulfill. Mm -hmm. This is what is known as must be required. All of you understand? And fulfilling the must be requirement, do you think your customer will be delighted by seeing, uh, by fulfilling a uh, primary requirement? No. No, I will not no, be delayed. No. If I want to put my child in a school and the school has got a approval, all necessary approval, it's not at all a delight for me. I'm not at all going to speak about it to others because I very well know having a approval is a bare minimum requirement any school should have. So there are certain features which will not trigger your level of satisfaction to the next level. Yes or no? 
its presence is not at all making an impact on your level of satisfaction but its absence after admitting your child you come to know that the school has no approval now what will be your reaction you will take the kid out of the school you will file a case isn't it so that means th this is the you know nature of unspoken requirement if attended well no effect customer will stay neutral but if attended badly what will happen it will lead to frustration and then customer can go to any extreme yes or no all of you understand so you have to be very 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 careful about the must be requirement at any cost you must fulfill that even if you do not have any children in your school you must still have an approval am i right such things are applicable to your product also your service also is yes or no and now tell me hereafter will you be able to write down those those uh, such features with respect to your product your service there are certain things i cannot compromise i don't have to refer to my competitor don't have to refer to anything which i have to proactively perform well even if my competitors are not doing i will still do it my product is 800 rupees my competitor product is 1000 rupees and my competitor product is not safe but still i will ensure my product is safe for safe for my customer why why am i come to this conclusion even though all my competitors are not doing but still i am doing well because it is something related to safety professional ethics yes or no we can't compromise on those things so this is this is what cano analysis is helping telling you right so he categorized a product feature into five different categories the first one is must be they are known as threshold features they are also known as threshold features threshold means you have to come up to that level whatever be the situation even if you sell your product for free then also you have to come up to that level they are known as threshold features threshold attributes must be features must be attributes right and whatever level you fulfill customer satisfaction can only come to a state of neutral a state of neutral it is very important to neutralize your customer segment about your product and services yes or no if you are if you are failing to communicate a message to the market saying that you are also equally good nobody will prefer your product it is if you compromise on the must be feature you are putting a same side goal you yourself damage your brand name even no matter whether you are selling it free whether you are selling it at a cheaper price still you are damaging your product yes or no let's say you conduct this kind of training program free of cost but still no you don't teach them uh, anything properly then what are we what are you actually doing customer themselves could you know see you when you are talking when you are explaining customer could easily understand you don't know the subject <coughs> what are you doing you are damaging your own uh, product your own service and the word of mouth will start spreading in a negative direction yes or no we all have to be we all yes, as a product yes. developer as a design engineer we must be conscious about the must be features in our product now what is this product water what is bottle? this product water the bottle, water bottle. Bottle. Water can bottle. you tell me one must be feature in it water should be clean or water should be clean okay sir it should, should have a lid it should have a lid it should have a lid okay mm -hmm. date of expiry to avoid leakage date of expiry sir yeah it should not have any leakage right whether i tilt it up front down whatever i do it should not leak and the water must be safe to drink the fsc yes. guidelines yes this water yes. bottle is only 5 rupees but still can you understand your responsibility within 5 rupees you have to fulfill all of this yes this is if you if you have a problem with just one of this otherwise you are great what will happen to your product what will happen to your whole organization only one problem in it yeah only problem is it is often leaking 
all else are extremely good customer will love to this product it will be taken off the market yes. that's all the products i life cycle will come to an end right at the first launch can you see that so this is must be feature you should be able to segregate features which are must be in nature put all your strength in that area first whatever strength you have the best design engineer the be, you know best of the resources you have you must use it to fulfill the must be features it is like foundation of a building i don't have you know a big money to construct my dream house but still i will borrow loan and make my building have a proper foundation yes or no i cannot have excuse on uh, the foundational uh, characteristics as a design engineer you all must understand okay once my foundational characteristics are good my must be are good now what is my next goal what should be my next goal i i now figured out my uh, customer segment and according to my budget yes only 600 square feet building is possible for me all that must be or set but now now i will start comparing my 600 square feet building with another 600 square feet building that exists in the same locality yes or no i would like to construct it in a better style better color better features do you understand because now i know my boundaries i know my budget i know everything but earlier yes i have not compromised anything i have uh, created a proper framework but now i will start comparing my product with respect to competitors now this product is 5 rupees and it is leak proof it com- it conforms the fssa guidelines and it has a lid it has a label it has everything and the water is safe to drink now my job is to study my competitors product yes or no yes 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 yes, yes sir in the same segment there can be 10 other brand i will buy i will buy a sample of all 10 brands yes. and write down and study their characteristics we call it yes. benchmark uh, reverse benchmarking right mm-hmm. yeah we we yeah benchmarking you can also call it benchmarking you come buy your competitors product and then carefully study and then arrive on their specifications now you now you think about your product specification now what should be your goal tell me all of you your competitor spec is available all of them are selling the product at 5 rupees only the best of the specification available in the market is now available in your table now what should be your goal you want to stay below it or you want to stay little above it at least to meet or surpass sir meet yeah you meet have to at least surpass. meet them or if possible or stay slightly better than them slightly better little above your competitors at least in one or two features why or why should you do that because people before making buying decision they always make a comparison even before enrolling in our platform you might have uh, made some comparison isn't it you might have found some extra value choosing our flat platform and then you are here i don't know maybe some people sometimes they decide just like that that those categories will always be there right but majority of your segment will certainly make a comparison and then are you on a decision so if you really wanted to gain a market share grow in the field you have to make sure your specifications are little better than your competitors at least in one or two important features which customer you know gives more attention to it such features are known as performance features clear all of you such features are known as performance feature the first one i spoke is must be no okay. comparison required your competitors are not at all attend- attending to it but you still attend to it but when it comes to the next level performance what my competitors are doing and what i am doing where is the gap the moment i understand a gap that is definitely a improvement or area yes or no because somewhere someone is able to give a particular feature for the same price of 5 rupees but only i am not able to give that means i have to somehow gain the capability and then include it in my product feature include it in my service 
अदरवाइज आई एम गोइंग टू फेल इन द लॉन्ग रन मे बी इन द शॉर्ट रन आई मे सर्वाइव बाई यूजिंग सम अदर जिमिक मार्केटिंग स्ट्रैटेजीज बट इन द लॉन्ग रन माई फेलियर इज फॉर श्योर कैन यू सी दैट ऑल ऑफ यू सो दो फीचर्स आर परफॉर्मेंस फीचर्स हियर द गोल इज टू स्टैंड अबाउ द कॉम्पिटिशन If you stand above the competition, yes, customer, more customers will buy your product. And I used the word little. Stand little above the competition because if you enhance the feature to a greater level, your profitability is also important. Yes or no? Because for any organization, yeah. profitability is for survival. Yes. The so whole product cost itself may go up. Yes. so your cost might go up and it can eat your profit also so some profit is definitely required for survival of the organization whole organization so you need to have some consideration while going above the competition but definitely going above the competition is important uh to crack the market and sometimes if you keep your features little higher you can also slightly price your product little higher than your competitors yes or no Yes. you are giving better so you are charging better and now little psychology you need to understand oh if i keep price little higher will my customers also will come forward and pay the difference if they pay if they are willing to pay for the extra feature they are getting then there is no limit you can you can take it to any level because they are paying anyway your profitability is not getting affected but if the price is fixed you have to stay little above Yes, yes or no? Uh, yeah. Sir. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. Well, could I ask you a question, please? Uh, so oh, yes. If, uh, if like you know, we do this analysis and I figure out like uh, so these performance features are there, but they might not have that much of effect on a customer. You know, they might not be that much effective for a customer. And I figure out that you know if I uh, drop one of the performance features, but I have another idea of a feature that i believe can be implemented so should we go ahead with that or should that be you know avoided because you will I be i got your point so there is a particular feature which has uh, no effect on the customer satisfaction that is your point is yes or no am i right yes yeah cano calls those features as indifferent features he don't call those features as performance feature features that has no effect on the customer satisfaction customer just do not care about it mm -hmm. right so those features are known as indifferent features on those features you can take a call as a business so if yeah. there is a requirement from the business point of view you handle it accordingly if there is a requirement yeah. from the process point of view you handle it accordingly but say for example if customer do not bother about the kind of plastics they i use then then it is a call for, you know i will take a call my business organization will take a call on that yes or no but from the business perspective the biodegradability comes into picture otherwise you know i may attract some uh, legal complaints or whatever so the moment i understand no oh, legal complaints is coming into picture then the then the feature i am right now talking about is actually part of must be feature yes i had a lagging in my thinking thinking that you no know, customer don't care about it and it may be indifferent but actually i am i am dealing with the feature which is must be in nature must so be. no further questions fulfill it okay but if it is indifferent say for example i want to buy a car and now the car uh, will have an engine right mm -hmm. in front of the driver some car will have an engine uh, in the front side and some engine will have in the back side do you think your customer segment will be worried about the position of the engine depends there are some who will there okay, are okay depends so your customer prefers front side so i will certainly keep my uh, engine in the front side customer don't like you know a rear engine yeah and in the front side i can place the engine on the right side or on the left side do you think your customer will be concerned about placing the engine on the right side or left side no so it's Thank an you. indifferent feature you place it right or you place it left but according to your process requirement if you think placing it on the right side is beneficial or left side is beneficial yeah. or center is beneficial it becomes okay. your call 
technically yeah. what needs to be done you would do it but from the customer position of the engine in the front bonnet is in different feature some customers might not even check whether engine is there or not <laughs> as long as the car can move they are happy right yeah. so you need to just understand your customer perception how how customer is perceiving a particular requirement if he consider that as a must be no violations if it is indifferent it is your call but think about the long term survival of your business just because it comes as your call you can't you know exaggerate yeah. the uh, situation or take over advantage of it think in a long term perspective uh, use uh, the feature in a proper manner so we spoke about must be we spoke about performance and now salina helped us to understand the indifferent features and so after ensuring that my product is above the competition i still bring some extra features my mobile phone now comes with a capability to project the images videos in a bigger wall the price is same 20000 rupees but my mobile phone itself can project the videos project the images in a 10 by 10 wall which no competitor have brought it so far but i am bringing it now now what this feature will do in the market now tell me it will be a usb sir usb for, for your product but it could be a usb sir, for your product you have to... this will disrupt the market yes or no now mm. you will capture almost the entire market this is the power of delight you will penetrate very faster into any must any customer segment any you know your market share will uh, keep growing at a faster rate word of mouth will start happening automatically but, uh, uh, but so this is possible it's a like supposing i'll just complete uh, this one point uh, just one point i'll before i take your question but this is possible only if you have complied properly with respect to the must be and the performance otherwise this can become a same side goal this can become a big fracture for your growth yes or no so delight you must be you must try to delight your customers only if you first of all fulfill them at the must be and performance level the primary requirements secondary requirements must be fulfilled then only you should think about the tertiary level yeah now selina you can go ahead with your question yeah so, so it's like recently that i have been uh, observing this that some of the features like when you are de designing or producing your product yes you get to you know analyze the market and you know that the customers are expecting or you know they would be happy to have these features and you use them to your advantage by creating delight however there are there is a different strategy also wherein i know i have something which is not in the market but i'm not sure if there is a uh, you know requirement so you create the requirement by making the people want it by using different strategies like marketing or you know yeah, influence yeah. The, the everything see so how, over time yeah 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 you want to say uh, add something yes please finish it yes yeah, so i was just trying to understand how does this fit into you know this canoal analysis and what would be this categorization yeah yeah see uh, we are talking about delight right but uh, please understand uh time is an important factor right if you are delaying your customer for a longer time with certain feature then your uh, what will happen then your competitors will also study you and they will also bring that feature in their product the moment all the competitors bring that feature in their uh, product it is no more a delight it has now become a yeah, performance performance and if everybody standardize a particular feature like you know free shipping any item i order in online once introduced free shipping was a delight oh, how come these people are getting the product to my home free of cost but now even if i am ordering for 100 rupees sometimes i still expect what free yeah, free shipping right so people find a different strategy you have to buy two quantities so that we can effect free shipping so that mm -hmm. you know it is a win win 
So time is uh, an important factor which can uh, uh, to judge properly whether a particular feature is really stays at the delight even now or has it become a performance or has it become a must be. See long back some 20 years before having a mobile phone in hand was a delight feature. Yes or no? Now <laughs> every person is having two, three mobile phone nowadays. Now having a mobile phone is a must be nowadays. You can't imagine life without mobile phone nowadays. So exactly. things which were delight some point of time will eventually become must yes. be as time passes. Right? And uh, so delight can become performance and performance can become must be. This is called you know, uh, dynamic uh, market condition. So customer requirement can keep changing. You, you should also adapt to the change. If you fail to recognize the change that is happening in your market condition, in your customer requirement, and that could become a reason for a big failure sometimes. All right. So must be first level. Second level, performance. Okay. Third level can be delight okay. features. Okay. I want to buy a laptop and everything is uh, going smoothly. I decided to buy, let's say, a Dell, Dell laptop or HP laptop because all the features and everything are you know, as per my expectations and it is better in the market according to the price range. But now when I actually click the checkout button, the message is popping up saying that, Congratulations, you have a cashback of 10,000 rupees today. Go ahead and complete your purchase. Now, what is this feature now? Delight. 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 So I will Delight. immediately close the sale and also share it in the social media. I purchased and then I got a 10,000 rupees cashback. So this is what Delight can do. But but please do the please try to de de delight your customer only after fulfilling. There must be a performance. Otherwise, it's like wearing a tie without having a proper shirt. Your shirt is not neat, clean, and uh, it's uh, torn everywhere, but still you want to wear a tie. This is not good. You might think that you are looking so great with the tie, but actually in the photograph and for others, it will look very ugly. It can damage your you know, complete brand image. So never ever uh, jump to the delight region before attending to the must be and perfect region systematically if there are 1000 must be requirement you have to fulfill all 1000 requirements because even one gap there in the must be can lead to a complete damage similarly in the performance also and uh, you need to stand out first and after that you proceed with the delight and you can crack the market. And this is what uh, Geo also did while introducing their SIM card, isn't it? Yes. Now, they are their market leader. Can you see that? Now, there is some kind of uh, what you call uh, the changes happening in the market. And everybody is feeling like, you know, Geo is overcharging their customer. Yes or no? So, now Geo must respond nicely. If they are not responding right now, then it can again lead to you know, some unexpected failure. So we have to be very, very careful as a product developer, as a service provider. So we understood must be, we understood performance, we understood delight. Indifferent also, we already touched. Indifferent means customer just do not care whether a feature is present or a feature is absent. For example, why you want to buy a printer. Have you ever worried about the color of the inner side of the printer casing? No. no. Outer side is you definitely you have certain requirement. But inner side nobody bothers. So what what color to apply? Now it is business call. That means the inner color is a feature belongs to. Tell me. Indifferent. Uh, Indifferent. Indifferent. Yeah, each one of you to categorize each factor each feature into one of the five categories according to Canon you will turn out to be a very good product development engineer. Must be performance, delight, indifferent, and there can be one other feature, feature known as reverse feature. Certain feature, if you add it, it will certainly lead to frustration. It will certainly lead to 
frustration. Say, for example, a website demanding too many clicks to find any information. Up to two or three clicks, customer is happy. But every additional click after three clicks will lead to increase in the frustration. Yes or no? So if you design, the customer will find your website as you know, a complex design. So nobody likes it. So too many clicks is definitely a reverse feature. Yes or no? So that means even though your website is designed so well, but for everything I have to click, you know, multiple times and so many times I have to put the password, then what happens? It leads to dissatisfaction. These kind of features are known as reverse feature. Beyond certain limit, things can become a reverse feature. Let's say you, you buy a garment, let's say a shirt. A shirt is expected to have buttons. Button is a must-be feature, yes or no? So that whenever required, we can uh, just keep it open or whenever required, again, we can put the button. So it's a must-be feature. But how many buttons you uh, you require as a customer in a shirt? Six. Okay, six. Uh, can I add two more? Depends. Two more also, you are okay? It depends on the performance, how much is required, actually. Yeah. Okay, so hmm. the range is, can I say range is six to eight? Yes. Yes, so okay. six to eight is a must-be and performance, no doubt. But if I put 48 buttons in a shirt, now to be, complete wearing uh, of your shirt, you require extra 20 minutes every day. Now it acts as a reverse, reverse feature. feature. So we are explaining uh, the concept, so many concepts. There are different ways of explaining the concept, right? So we explain it in a way that you easily understand. We can also explain it in a way that none of you will never be able to understand what we are trying to say. But the message is conveyed. Message is conveyed, mm -hmm. but none of the participant is able to understand what I am actually explaining. So the, the learning is so stressful. What kind of feature it is? We are damaging our own growth, isn't it? Can you see that? There is no point of frustrating your clients. By frustrating your clients, you earn nothing. In fact, you lose heavily. So never ever try to Frustrate your customer by be, by adding any additional feature, be it a product or a service. Yes or no? So if you are able to categorize all the several thousand features in your product into one of the category, then you know how to react to it. Then you know how to optimize it. All of you are with me. This is what is known as Cano analysis. I will quickly show you the slides of Kano and so that you will be able to learn from the slides also. I will just show you. Kano has uh, designed this in the form of a graph. So, hope all of you are able to see my slide now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. we can see. Yeah. So, must be performance, delight, indifferent, and reverse. It's a product development and customer satisfaction tool. It will visually model the customer provided characteristics versus the level of satisfaction each characteristic is delivered. After collecting the voice of the customer, after collecting the voice of the customer means you have to conduct a survey, relevant questions with the relevant mm -hmm. options so that you will be able to understand the customer requirement. And uh, the survey should always be conducted to the appropriate customer segment. Otherwise, you will pray fall to the sampling risk. Right? We should not do that. So it allows the development team to focus on optimizing the essential features for a given product. You see Professor Noria Kikano here, right? So he's the one who developed this idea. And this is the graph. All of you, can you see the graph? What the x-axis yeah. is talking about? The yes. x-axis is talking about the functionality of a product with respect to a customer requirement. If you are on the extreme right, that means you, you know you have fulfilled the customer requirement with respect to a particular characteristics. For every characteristics, you have to 
think where are you with respect to the x and y axis if you are you are doing better in the market if you are in the center means you are average if you are on the left extreme means you are handling the particular characteristics in a poor manner do you understand y axis at the center exactly here that means your average you are on the top of the y axis that means you are the best in the category best in the market if you are below the origin you are actually no below the below you are you are below even the average performers do you understand so where do you want to see your product characteristics you know uh, with respect to the competitor we should always wanted to see you know our characteristics somewhere here yes or no we are the uh, better player in the market but look here there is a dark blue color this represents threshold attribute threshold attributes are also known as uh, must be features look at the other name what is the other name written here for must be features is satisfier dissatisfiers that means even if you perform well no customer will talk about it but if you perform badly every customer will talk about it do you understand yes if you are running hygiene is a must be or performance or delight must Tell be me. must be must be right so certain feature if you do well yes customer stays neutral it will it will bring your customer to this point closer to the origin closer to the x axis but it will never go to the next level it will never impact the satisfaction positively right uh, but certain features customer always compare with the competitor the, they are known as performance feature the other name is one dimensional features one another name is linear satisfier i'm sorry i have written satisfier here but what should i write linear satisfier linear satisfier means if i am above average people will be happy about me if i am below average people will be unhappy about me i mean about my product right and attractive me see here the one dimensional or the performance you are seeing here can you see the green color line can you see it above x axis also yeah. above or below x axis also above x axis means you are above the average people are happy with your services with your product if you are below means you are not even you know coming up to the average performance people you know and the moment you understand you are below people understand you are below average then also they will talk negatively can you see that yeah. whatever happened with respect to the must be the same thing is happening with respect to performance also but if you are above average customer may talk good about your product all of you do you understand the blue color line blue color curve and the green color line this is also mm -hmm. this is on, known as linear satisfier because it's a straight line now look at the light blue color line it is can you see that customer never get frustrated whenever you add certain feature it it helps in delighting the customer like you are going to a restaurant and they are telling that sir the starters and soup are free today you never expected right and uh, but they are offering and they are telling that sir you don't have to pay for the kids today these are all delight features and uh, suppose one day you are going and they are, they are charging for the kids also will you be uh, will you be dissatisfied no normally you know hmm. hotels they charge for the food this very well known so they are charging for the kid also but at the same time if certain things becomes what you call a regular thing let's say nowadays whenever we go for a buffet lunch or buffet dinner kids below the age of 8 or 10 or you know normally accepted yes or no since mm -hmm. that is in regular practice these things will now become a must be that's why i told you the time is an uh, important factor we need to understand right if certain feature is already uh, uh, accommodated as a must be then you must definitely call it as a must be only just because you are giving it free you can't think that is a delight everybody is giving free so you should you are supposed to give free all right so 
Now you know the delight feature also here. Now, can you see a gray color line lying right on the x-axis? Can you see? Can you see a gray color line? Yes. yes. That is known yes, as indifferent feature. It never impacts the satisfaction positively and never impacts the satisfaction negatively. That is the meaning, yes or no? If the line goes above x-axis, satisfaction is impacted positively. Below x-axis, satisfaction impacted negatively. So that is why the feature is known as indifferent feature. Indifferent. Now, finally, the rewards. Rewards means the more the feature, the more the frustration. Never ever add a feature which can affect the functionality of other features. Never ever add a feature which can seem directly lead to frustration. Clear all of you? Hereafter, tell me if I, if I ask you to do a small assignment, pick up any product of your choice, which you are currently dealing in your profession, any product or a service. Will you be able to write down 10 features under must be? 10 features under performance. 10 under, maybe 10 may not exist with respect to delight, right? Few delight feature, few indifferent features, few Once. reverse features. Will you be able to write down? Uh, please tell me, please confirm. No, no. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, that sir. means yes. you are a fantastic product development engineer. Whatever be the feature, whatever it is, right? Whatever be the specification, you should be able to categorize the specification into one of the five. That means you are an expert in Cano analysis. And if you are doubtful, suppose if you are in doubt, certain feature you are not able to judge correctly, then what should you do? Survey. You don't know whether it's a performance or a must be. Then what should you do? Survey. Survey, you ask your customer only. Reverse. Survey. In survey, you have to carefully write, design the question. Carefully design the option. What? Understand from the customer's answer, that should be an option. Customer should definitely say, I am satisfied. I am not satisfied. I am satisfied is one, one option. I am frustrated is other option. I stay neutral is another option. This is what we want to understand, isn't it? So design of the questionnaire is also very, very important. And in order to judge correctly whether a particular feature belongs to must be or something else, you need to ask the same question two times. Once indicating that the particular feature is attended properly. Same question by saying that the feature is attended badly. If we keep every session in a stressless learning manner, every session is you know easy to understand. Now, what will be your level of satisfaction? All of you tell me. Hello. Like. Level of satisfaction will be low. We keep you learn very easily. You know, we are explaining everything in a easy to understand manner. Now, what will be your satisfaction? Your satisfaction will be high or low? High. High. Suppose, suppose we don't uh, teach you in an easy to understand manner. We confuse you every time when, when we speak. We confuse you. Now, what will be your level of satisfaction? Will now be higher lower. or low? Lower. lower. So, lower. what kind of feature it is? Yes. Delight. Must be. Must, Must be. be. Must be. Reverse feature. Okay. If, we are, if we are going to compare with means? the other, then must be. Oh, must, be. No. must be means presence will, will lead to neutral. You are correct, actually. Practically correct. But theoretically, no. We answered wrongly. See, if the if the feature is handled badly, dissatisfied. That you said correctly. Yes or no? If the feature is handled perfectly, then customers will stay neutral. Then only it should be categorized as must be. Now, with all your responses, what I understand is teaching all of you in an easy to understand manner is a performance feature. That means you people are ready to even listen to people who could confuse you. My segment, my, based on the survey, I'm telling, please understand. That's why even your survey should also be simple enough 
to make the customer understand the question and the option. You have to give an option of neutral. I will stay neutral. If you are if you are teaching me in an easy to understand manner, that's a bare minimum requirement, gentleman. You should know that. Just because you are a trainer, you can't you know, confuse everybody around you. Yes or no? This is what the market is, markets wise. Yes or no? Otherwise, you will be kicked out of the market. Very, very easy job for any uh, situation, isn't it? So this is what Kano analysis is, right? So there are so many uh, examples I want you to just uh, go through. So this is a hand wash facility in a restaurant. It should be a however good, however it is. It's never a delight. It is one must be only, right? So mobile phone call making feature in a mobile phone, presence of a kitchen, these are all must be feature. The printer with the capability to print in A4 size, that's a must be feature. Nobody will buy otherwise because A4 sheet, we use it predominantly. And seat belt in a passenger car is a safety aspect. Should be a must be. A phone with the ability to make phone call is a must be feature. So safety uh, and then uh, usage of all new parts, Self starter, self starter feature in a car or a, maybe in a two wheeler. Nowadays it's a must be yes or no. First time when introduced, it was a delight because we used to kick and start the motorbike till that point of time. But nowadays every motorbike we expect the button start. So time is you no know, is also an important factor. So now you know what are the must be feature you know when you are actually. Uh, Doing any kind of job. You are admitting your child in a school. You are admitting your child in a college. You know what is must be. Yes or no? Similarly, some must be feature in a printer. Tell me Wi-Fi connectivity in a printer. Is it a must be or performance or a delight? Wi-Fi connectivity. Some people are saying delight. Some people are saying uh, must be. That means we have two different segment of customers in the same platform. Can you see that? Yes. So understanding your customer segment is all because customer can never be wrong. One person says it is delayed and one person says both are correct. Am I right? Yes. Because customer can never be wrong. Okay. So this is a survey done performed by Samsung to understand the features. Uh, can you help us understand one must be feature which all of you expect? One thing which we are not actually uh, fulfilling, but you expect us to fulfill uh, as a must be. Can you all uh, give us a piece of advice? What is that we need to really compulsorily improve on? Very difficult to uh, answer this, right? Because we are asking in face to face. Very. Yes. Some assignments. Yeah, oh, some assignments. Yeah, very good. Some assignments have to be given. Mm, giving uh, too much of, uh, what do you call, um, freedom. Uh, not demanding any uh, assignment. So, first assignment is already ready. 10 must be, 10 performance, few delight, and then few indifferent, few reverse. Very good. And also attend to the uh, mark questions. Very good. And similarly, uh, performance means anything we compare against our competitor. When we go to a restaurant, the number of varieties we compare. 1000 rupees buffet, how many varieties here, how many varieties there. Taste also to certain extent we compare. Price we compare. Anything we compare is a performance, right? And uh, mileage of the vehicle while buying a laptop, we compare the inbuilt memory, we compare the RAM speed. Anything you compare and then decide is a performance what do you normally compare when you when you have to take a call between multiple colleges am i correct here with the suggestion graduation rate while joining the black belt program also some of you might have studied it if i enroll here will they issue the certificate yeah. will they will they pass me right what is the passing rate and Prabhakar would have told you 100%, isn't it? Because people want 100%, so we are saying 100%. And we'll also make it 100%, don't worry. Right? So, uh, likewise, certain features, customers compare. They are performance. So, any other feature you compared before choosing our platform? See, this piece of information will be you know, extremely beneficial. 
for the growth of you know your uh, organization and in fact your, your product and service so would you like to help us with one input what is that you compared or what is that you think sir the uh, schedule convenience schedule convenience was one of the factors sir and also uh, that i mean well, probably that uh, in the tie up with the msme was a really i mean i would say for me it was a very prominent factor sir actually because i literally inquired many actually but this was one of the most influential factor i could able to get and obviously about the faculty profiles also sir this was a uh, very key factors very good very good thank you for letting us know if there is anything else you feel we need to improve you can uh, reach us you know through the feedback forms we are posting or you can privately reach you no know, communicate to one of us all right sir so one more i can add uh, face to face interaction and uh, on ah. the spot uh, solution correct correct in many many sessions the question answer session is postponed and then finally it is cancelled so whereas whereas we prefer more of the very good good point to understand so this is the points which uh, samsung understood as the performance feature people always look at the camera megapixel level compare right and the sweet spot sweet spot is to stay lit you have to reach the optimum quality level or acceptable quality level till you come to the acceptable quality level you have to improve but after acceptable quality level if you improve it will become a delight Yes or no? So don't you should not even consider the budget component or a cost component till you come to the acceptable quality level. What is already being practiced, you can't have excuse. You can't pass on your inefficiency to your customer. There is a way out to fulfill the customer needs within the price band. Then you have to fulfill. But once you reach the acceptable quality level, then further enhancement you can demand money. if you give that also without charging the customers that becomes a delight very good so the presence customer likes it an absence oh this is for the this is delight actually yeah yeah so this is the thing yeah so this is a kind of delight delight means presence will have a positive effect absence will have no effect even if you don't give anything any freebies any discounts people are not going to you know worry about it right but then if you give discount if you give some freebies what if if we all give you an additional certificate in addition to the black belt certificate let's say we give one more certificate well, what will be that feature then delay they are not delay. that is a kind of delay it's a double delay double delay actually yeah, double delay so we will try to delay you you also please find a way to delight us back right we'll see maybe you can nominate all your uh, team members to our next program so this is a kind of uh, delight only because they are giving some announcing some free and uh, money back when you buy my buy a buy a product and uh, no need to pay the emi when you buy an apartment from our uh, builder but somehow they will still be doing a business but then they are able to make project it as a delight so these are some uh, delight features like a smartphone with a wireless charging capability see here i have prepared this slide long back and i am saying that uh, free shipping is a delight i don't think nowadays you all will accept me isn't it then what is this free day shipping is it must, must, must be now must be now must be now you got must the be. point all of you so what could be a delight feature uh, while i uh, know in you know, for a uh, choosing a college you you are admitting your child uh, son or daughter in a college what could be a delight for you no donation reputation of the college no donation is a delight no Personally. donation uh, no. collecting donation is illegal <laughs> so <laughs> for me it is must be delight <laughs> that's uh, delight which is uh, placement colleges colleges were collecting you know donation like anything that people started believing that it is a delight delight it is actually what... illegal collecting you know donations right a fees they can collect but not donations okay so there are some examples no, can it be a delight yes. yes. yeah, it's a it delight the so fees yes. is 5 lakh but then uh, you can earn 10 lakhs while studying in the college college has such an ecosystem 
right? You can okay. actually run a business, form a business and run a business. You are doing MBA, but then while finishing the MBA, you have your own company. So that is this role. Scholarship. 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 Very good. Scholarship. Tuition fee waiver. Free hostel. Free accommodation. Free transport. These are all delight features, right? But make sure all of these things are brought into uh, brought in place after properly attending to must be on performance. If there is no basic facility, but if it's, but they are giving you know free hostel, free transport, it is of no use. So, have you noticed any delight here, or you want to uh, help us add some delight feature for our next batch? No, sir. Okay. Normally, people used to say RK is a delight feature, right? He he brings a lot of uh, no. Uh, what to say, some important uh, inputs at the right time. So that way is definitely a delight feature in our program. <laughs> so, sir, we have right. uh, noticed the uh, delight features uh, because uh, I personally, uh, I remember uh, before conducting, uh, before appearing in the yellow belt exam, I had some doubt and I personally called you. Yeah, correct. You clarified one-on-one -on -one all questions and all. So this is actually uh, other than that is also uh, class uh, so, time. So that is delight feature only, sir. Correct. So in giving uh, individual attention, that is the point, right? Giving individual attention is a delight. So okay. not everybody is doing and you are doing. That is, you know, the differentiator. So here, when you are actually trying to delight, the goal is to warm your customer with the investment mm -hmm. as little as possible. Mm -hmm. Right? Because... Wow. If otherwise your profitability will be a question mark. That's one thing. And then uh, if you try to add value, but if a customer don't find value, find the same thing value adding, uh -huh. then you should not do it. Oh. Right? These are certain point to uh, understand. Right? Wow. Uh, say for example, I want to take class till eleven o'clock today evening, eleven p.m. Ah, same, same. But after five five p.m., we know they will not be in a mood to listen. Right? So we should understand the threshold and then handle it accordingly. So please try to wow your customer after crossing a QL, acceptable quality level. So presence and absence, both making no impact. That means it is a kind of indifferent feature, okay. like the kind of bottle used in your uh, cold drink and whether the gas tank, petrol tank is located on the right side or left side, no customer, no uh, uh, have any priority. Both sides is okay. The color of the printer's inner casing, these are all indifferent. And what is this? This is a kind of reverse feature. The more it is, the more frustration. So it is always better to stay on the left side. You see here, all frustrating features, better to stay on the left side. Like teaching too much of statistics. Do you understand why we limit the discussion on statistics? The more you discuss, the more the frustration. So, but definitely we wanted to respect your uh, requirements. So you need to ask so that we can talk more in, in the language of statistics, right? So please ask and anything related to statistics. Okay. So here the reverse features, you see. So we need a table and chairs to sit. But look at the number of table and chairs. It is beyond the optimal range. And so the same has become a reverse. All right, you all now understand what is Keno analysis and how to use it. And this is the order of execution. First foundation. And no compromise. Don't tell you have a budget limitation, etc. This is for you know, your safety. So you, if you really wanted to uh, compete in a market, you have to be competent enough. That is must be. And then your buildings. This is performance. And finally, your garden area and swimming pool can be considered as delight. And similarly, your shirt, your tie, and then your coat. You know the order of wearing uh, the, all these things, isn't it? And if you want to change the order, let's say you wear the coat first, and then you wear the shirt, and then finally you wear the tie, how it will look like. The same will be the situation if you mishandle you know, the features while developing a product or while developing a service. So that's it from me on Canon Analysis. I hope you enjoyed as well as understood how to use this tool and connect this with your survey. That is very, very important. If you have a complete idea about the product development, then you understand though the starting point is survey and that becomes the input to your kind of analysis, right? Anything which you can't decide yourself, 
then definitely there must be a question in your survey. And whatever customer says, that is final. And uh, what is the statistics that will help us to understand the customer perception? Mode. First time, you know, we are seeing an example of mode. What is mode? The most frequently occurred information or most frequently occurred data. If majority of the customer says it is must be, then the feature must be classified as must be. You understand? Yes. So sometimes mean is helping us with the continuous data. Sometimes mode is helping us with the attribute data. Sometimes median will be helping. So this is how you know, statistics is helping us. So I would like to stop here and then we can continue after the break. So any further questions?